blank canvas. Is there anything more intimidating or more exciting for an artist than when there's nothing there? The beginning of the journey, like a writer sitting in front of the laptop, ready to write, or the dancer on stage without an audience and without music, or a musician alone in one's room with a piano or with, with a guitar, what will you create? Will it be a fabulous bird? Will it be something colorful and fun? Or will it end up being something else? Maybe half a wolf. Something that pulls at the emotions and stirs the soul. Or will it be something very serene? Something that's calming. Something that's warm, of koi, swimming in blue water. Or maybe, maybe you'll create, what I hope you will create, is you will create memories of being with friends, staring out at a beautiful view. You've been on an incredible journey this year, and you have given the entire school so much to celebrate with regards to the arts. I've been so impressed with the artwork, with the music, the drama, the dance. It's been amazing to see what you've been able to do despite all of the restrictions that we have faced this year because of the pandemic. Pablo Picasso once said that art washes away from the soul the dust of everyday life. And you have washed away the dust of our lives all year. And whether it's been at an arts review or the multicultural fair, or whether it's been with those fabulous IB drawings and paintings that are in the dining hall, have graced the dining hall for the last many weeks, I cannot thank you enough for you have given us the gift of creativity. You've given the entire school a chance for a moment for life to stand still, to be able to enjoy the journey and to be able to enjoy the view. So welcome to the 2021 Arts Gala. The first award to be presented of the night is the Junior School Drama Award. This award is dedicated to a student who plays an important role in the school's drama program. This award will be presented by Ali Pape. Hi, my name is Ali Pape and I'm in grade 10. I'm a part of the dance and theater programs here at King's and one of my favorite memories from these programs is getting to choreograph and perform in both the junior and senior school musicals this year and last year. It is my pleasure to announce that the recipient of the junior school most dedicated to drama award goes to Jessica E2. Congrats! The second award to be presented tonight is the Junior School Music Award, given to a student who shows great musical ability and dedication to the school's music program. This award will be presented by Lucy Goddard. Hi everybody, it's Lucy. I love to do music and theater here at King's and I'm really happy we got to do some stuff this year even with the COVID restrictions. I know the girl getting this award loves music as well and she's super talented and really dedicated. So I'm happy to give the most dedicated to the Junior School Music Program Award to Emily May. Good job. The next award to be presented is the Junior School Play Award, which is given to a junior school student who has an amazing acting ability. This award will be presented by Hannah. Hi everyone, my name is Hannah Stowell and I'm in grade 10 here at KES. And I'm primarily involved with music and theater at the school. Definitely one of my favorite memories was when I originally came for my tour, I got to see the performing arts spaces and I was given this warm welcome by our music teacher, Mr. Smith, and it just got me so excited for the things that I would be doing. And here we are, but 
This year I have the pleasure of announcing the award going to the most dedicated student in the junior school play and please help me congratulate Tambi Manchinetti in receiving this award. I do believe I have been changed for the better and because I knew you because I knew you because I knew you I have been changed for good The Junior School Visual Arts Award is given to a student in the junior school who shows great artistic ability. This award will be presented by Aria McDonald. Hello everyone, my name is Aria McDonald and I'm in grade 12. I'm involved with the school's visual arts program and one of my best memories is when we held our most recent art exhibition. It was a great opportunity to celebrate each other's talent and the immense amount of work and time that went into creating our pieces. It is my pleasure to introduce this year's winner for the most dedicated student in the Junior School Visual Arts program. This award goes to Rendy Ashley. Congratulations! The Co-Curricular Bands Award is awarded to a student who is involved in both the concert band and jazz band here at the school and is a great instrumentalist and student. This award will be presented by Ella Brown. Hi guys, my name's Ella Brown and I graduated from King's Edge Hill last year. I'm really excited to be presenting this award. Um, when I was at King's Edge Hill, I was always really involved with the bands. Um, and I can speak to the musical talent of this recipient. Uh, when I was drum major last year, they were always really helpful, especially on the musical side um, of things. And I, I must say that they, they really do deserve this award. Without further ado, it is my pleasure to present the award for most dedicated student to co-curricular bands to Mitchell Larkin. The Senior School Music Award is awarded to a student in the senior school who loves music and is dedicated to the program. This award will be presented by Max Cole. Hi everybody, uh, my name is Max, for those of you who don't know. I was a graduate last year and was the Arts Prefect alongside Katie. And uh, one of my favorite memories from the Arts at King's was definitely the grade 9 production of School of Rock. It was like some of the most fun I've ever had in my life. I'm never going to forget that one. And um, Coffee House as well. Such a good time. Well, I'm definitely going to miss those. And uh, it's my pleasure to present this award to such a talented and deserving artist in the KES community. I've worked with her a number of times and she is just such a talent. She's great. And the winner of the Senior School Music Award is uh, Victoria Dubois. <laughs> The Dance Award is awarded
committed to a dancer here at the school who is passionate, committed, and talented in dance. This award will be presented by Ohema. Hi everyone, um, my name is Ohema. Some of you know me, some of you don't, but that's okay. I'm a KS alum, I graduated last year, and I'm here presenting this year's award, this year's dance award. And let me tell you, I was so happy to receive the email because the arts was probably the biggest thing to me, second biggest thing to me while I was at Case. Most of my best memories were made um, in the dance studio and like, of course, performing. So today I am so, so, so happy to present this year's Most Dedicated Dancer of the Year Award. And this year's Most Dedicated Dancer of the Year Award goes to, drum roll, Jessica Yugoki. Oh, Jess, I'm so proud of you. I love you. I miss you. Oh, congratulations. School Musical Award is presented to a senior school student who is involved and excels in the school's musicals. This award will be presented by Katie Goddard. Hi guys! Um, I hope your online classes are going well. I'm sorry that the school year had to end like this again for all of you. Um, my name's Katie for anyone that doesn't know. Um, I was the Arts Prefect last year. I graduated last year as well. Um, yeah, so I really enjoyed the arts at King's. I did all the musicals. They're some of my favorite memories of being at the school at all. Um, and I miss doing that for sure. So today I'm presenting the award for the most dedicated student to the senior school musical. And um, the person receiving this award is very deserving of it. I know that for sure. I saw her perform um, in February of 2020 in the Frozen Junior musical that we did. And she's an amazing dancer um, and performer in general. I know also that she choreographed the majority of the review this year for all of you guys. And um, yeah, very deserving. And that person is Allie Pape. So congratulations, Allie. <laughs> award to be presented is the Senior School Theatre Arts Award. This is presented to a student in the senior school who has a passion for theatre and loves to act on stage. This award will be presented by Lucas. Good evening. I am Lucas Jimenez. I am in grade 12 and I am involved with the Performing Arts Program at King's Edge Hill. I am last year's recipient of this award and I have many great memories in the world of theatre here. But it is my pleasure to pass on this award to, wait for it, Taylor Cole. Congratulations, Taylor. The next award to be presented is new this year. The Senior School Play Award is dedicated to a cast member who stood out as an incredible actor and entertainer in this year's Senior School Play. The winner of this award is none other than Lucas Gimenez. It is apparent that Lucas was born for the stage and has true passion and potential for acting. He is not afraid to give his all and put his heart into a performance. Congratulations, Lucas, and good luck next year. Try and look at it so it doesn't know you're looking at it. What? Well, you know, you gotta like, like trick. 
tricky. <laughs> you know, you gotta like, you know, you gotta like trick one. You gotta, you gotta like, you gotta like trick, you gotta like trick it one. You gotta, you gotta trick it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you got it. You got it. You got it. The Media Arts Award is given to a student who shows immense talent in the media arts. This award will be presented by Eva Redmond. Hi, my name is Eva. The arts at KES have completely shaped my life from the very first day that Brian asked me to join the photography club he was starting to me getting the opportunity to lead that club the following year. And now I'm going into university where I'm studying marketing to one day work in social media and film. So it is my honor to present this year's Media Arts Award to Maeve Hurley. Congratulations. The Senior School Visual Arts Award is given to a student involved in the visual arts program here at King's, who is a very talented artist and very passionate about their artwork. This award will be presented by Maya. Hello everyone, my name's Maya. I hope you are doing well and staying safe. Over my six years at King's, I participated in so many of the arts that King's had to offer. Throughout my time, I was able to make so many great memories, friends, and had a blast no matter what I was doing. I still remember Miss Stewart's hellos every single time I walked into the art room. Today, I have the pleasure to announce this year's winner of the most dedicated student in the Senior School Visual Arts are Aria McDonald and Ali Martin. Congratulations to you both. The final award to be presented this evening is the Senior School IB Arts Program Award, which is dedicated to a student in full IB Diploma Program who is also dedicated to the arts program. This award will be presented by Annalise. My name is Annalise Emery and the arts at KES have been very important to me. I know from personal experience that it can be hard to balance all of your schoolwork with your love of the arts at King's, but at the end it is well worth it. Because of my time in the arts at King's, next year I will be continuing my schooling at NASCAD University for their fine arts program. 
That said, it is my pleasure to announce this year's winner of the award for most dedicated full diploma student in the senior arts program to Victoria Dubois. Congratulations, Victoria. Hey, hi everyone. I'm pleased you've joined us to view this video presentation celebrating the endeavors and accomplishments uh, of this year's arts recipients. This production has been skillfully crafted and produced by the talented and super delica dedicated uh, Miss Tova McLean. I applaud her and uh, you should too. Participation in the arts, both major or minor, pun intended, is our vaccine to the school wellness in many regards. I reflect upon the headmaster's uh, opening comment that uh, it is remarkable that we've managed to stay within pandemic restrictions and still accomplish the things we're all passionate about. And here we find ourselves. Celebrating the arts, which is great, at KES during another lockdown conclusion of the school year. Who would have thought? Nonetheless, I don't feel empty. Aside from not being able to have public performances this year, we've all adapted to working within the uh, restriction parameters, and I congratulate every student for their acceptance of the uh, situation and their adaptability to remain responsible to the guidelines and their music. It's now my privilege to acknowledge the dedication and fine work of the arts faculty in total. The passion that they endeavor to instill in their students is immeasurable. Together, they make up the backbone of our program and inspire the students with knowledge, example, and influence. In particular, I'd like to, as pointed out previously, uh, mention Ms. McLean and certainly Sandy Stewart uh, for her award awareness and planning of our annual gala. Kudos to all. Have you ever felt like nobody was there? Have you ever felt forgotten in the middle of nowhere? Have you ever felt like you could disappear? Like you could fall and no one would hear? So let that lonely feeling wash away Cause maybe there's a reason to believe you'll be okay Cause when you don't feel strong enough to stand You can reach, reach out your hand And oh, someone will come running And I know, they'll take you home Even when the dark comes crashing through when you need a friend to carry you And when you're broken on the ground You will be found So let the sun come streaming in Cause you'll reach up and you'll rise again Lift your head and look around You will be found You will be Smile.